collection and arrangement of data. Hey kids! In this video, we will learn about the collection and arrangement of data. Come, let's take you to the jungle where the wise owl is waiting for some animals. Every day, they learn some new things from the wise owl. Oh, here you come. How did you all get so late today? Chiku was playing, Palo was trying to steal honey and our Saloni was sleeping. And Chi Chi was studying. Okay, let's learn something new today. Do you want to play a game? Yes, yes. So kids, here is a dice. Now all of you will roll the dice five times. We will write down the numbers you get on rolling the die. Okay. I will roll first. One, four, six, two, two. So Chiku got these numbers on the dice. Now Bhalu, it's your turn. Okay. Two, four, five, five, four. So Bhalu got these numbers on the dice. Now Chi Chi and Saloni turn wise roll the dice and see what numbers you get. One, one, three, four, six. Five, four, five, six, six. So Chi Chi and Saloni got these numbers on the dice. Now we have made a list of the numbers that you all got by rolling the dice. So children, I can say in this way I have collected all the points you got by rolling the dice. This kind of information is also known as data. So I can also say I have collected the information about the points you got by rolling the dice. Okay. Can you give one more example of data? Yes, of course. See, if I want to know how many members are there in your family, I can make a list by asking you all the number of members present in each one of your family. For example, look at this list. By looking at this list, we can easily find out whose family has the most members and whose family has the least. But if we closely look at this data, can you tell which number hit the dice most of the times? What happened? Why are you taking so much time? Because we have to first check how many times each number has hit the die. Perfect! And for this, we can arrange and write our data in this way. Like we got 1 for 3 times, we also got 2 for 3 times. And like this, we can write for different numbers. Oh wow! You have made a different set for all the numbers. Perfect! First of all, we made a collection of all the numbers. And did you notice how I have arranged all the numbers from 1 to 6? in a way that makes easy to gather the information. Now tell me which number came for the highest times and which one for the least? 4 came for the highest times, that is 5 times and 3 came for the least, only once. Absolutely right! So kids, in this video, we have learnt about 
the collection and arrangement of data.